hey, uh, should uh, school principals be elected? That is an interesting concept. <laughs> Somebody brought it up this weekend. Mm -hmm. We're going to go over that. <laughs> let's debate that, Bay. All right. Let's, let's take sides and figure this out. Do you know why they spell Principal with the P A L at the end? No. Because they're your pals. <laughs> so they told us. <laughs> because that's your pal. Maybe, maybe not. I need to know why. Stuff you might teach you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Teach me. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Uh, here's the Gateway Pundit with the, the story that, uh, that I came across. I found this very interesting, Bay. So, uh, Donald Trump, President Trump, calls for election of school principals, says parents should be able to fire them and expel the communists. They see Wow. <laughs> What's up, Patricia? How are you in uh, the comments? T taxpayer dollars, right? Mm. You, you know, ain't kidding. Yeah, I'm just saying, anything that is tax-funded, the people should have a say automatically. Hey, do you know how many dollars, the taxpayer dollars of the citizens of Clarksville, Tennessee, pays, uh, pays in taxes that goes into schools? Uh-uh. 77 million dollars and where did that money and that's go? about 75 percent of the city income that we that we pay in taxes so where did that money go dude what do they do with that dude money? tomorrow morning show the local show i got a city council member mm -hmm. amber marquee coming on yo it's gonna it's gonna be pfft, and it's gonna wherever you're from you may not be from this area it's mm -hmm. gonna make you look into where your tax dollars are going because anything there. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Patricia, uh, more insanity adds on. Someone we knew once told me that they going to try to normalize. Try oh, dude, wait. Pff, Patricia, stay tuned. All right. So uh, Trump was speaking at the Georgia at the Faith and Freedom uh, Coalition Convention. Uh, here's what the Donald had to say. Let me see if I got that up here. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Where is it? Our public schools have been taken over by the radical left maniacs. Here is my plan to save American education, restore power Dark. to American parents. First, we will cut federal funding for any school or program pushing critical race theory gender ideology, or other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content onto our children. We're not going to allow it to happen. That's right. We, we suck at school because you're throwing all this stuff in there. Oh, it's not. It's not being thrown in schools. No. The hell it isn't. You need to teach them to how to balance a checkbook. <laughs> you know, math. You know, stuff that's going to help them in life. Spelling. To pay, to pay their bills. Hey, they got rid of uh, script. Yeah, cuffs of riding. Yeah, they got rid of cursive. Yeah, that that's why they don't know how to read it, the the Constitution. Yeah, that is written in cursive. <laughs> they also got rid of dodgeball. That's where it all started, by the way. Uh, mm -hmm. I remember that. Next, mm -hmm. I will direct. I could still smell the dodgeball. I could still hear the thing. Yeah, I could. I could still smell it. I could still feel it. I could still <laughs> hear it whizzing by. But we use uh, volleyballs, though. Mm -hmm. That will. Flat ones. Well, Bay, <laughs> you know, when I grew up, we used bowling balls. No. Yeah. No, we didn't. The Department of Justice and Education to open civil rights investigations into any school district that has engaged in race-based discrimination. That includes discrimination against Asian Americans. The Marxism being preached in our schools is also totally high. Do you see what's happening to Asian Americans in these cities? Them and Jewish people with this knockout game. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. It is, it's terrible. It's terrible. Hostile to Judeo-Christian teachings. Son. And in many ways, it's resembling Anthony, an established fan. new religion. Can't let that happen. For this reason, my administration will aggressively pursue potential violations of the Establishment Clause and the Free Exercise Clause of the Constitution. That's very simple. 
Additionally, on day one, we will begin to find and remove the radical zealots and Marxists who have infiltrated the Federal Department of Education. And that also includes others, and you know who you are, because we're not going to allow anybody to hurt our children. Joe Biden has given these lunatics unchecked power. I will have them fired and escorted from the building, and I will tell Congress that any appropriations bill I sign must reaffirm the President's ability to remove defiant employees from the job. It's this because what are the other countries teaching their kids in school? Reading, writing, and arithmetic. Yeah. And history. Mm -hmm. Right. And what are they teaching our kids? What are the kids over here? Hey! <laughs> I'm just saying. Right. It's all done on purpose, babe. Make mm -hmm. them dumb. Yeah. Make them dumb so we can take over. Yeah. Make them reliant on government so they need us and can never get rid of us. We need this man back in office. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if he, if he scares you or you, you, you don't like mean tweets. I'm sorry. This is the guy that needs to come in because they are coming for us. The only thing is he's standing in the way, whether you like that or not. It's just that's the facts. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, but he's so mean. Yeah, he's from New York. Right. Well, I'm sorry. He's from New York. That's life. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about our children. I will veto the sinister effort to weaponize civics education. We will keep men out of women's sports, and we will create a new credentialing body that will be the gold standard anywhere in the world to certify teachers who embrace patriotic values, support our way of life, and understand that their job is not to indoctrinate children, but very simply to educate them. Finally, I will implement massive funding preferences and favorable treatment for all states and school districts that make the following historic reforms in education. Oh, I can't wait to hear One, this. Abolish teacher tenure for grades K through 12 so we can remove bad teachers uh -huh. and adopt merit pay to reward good teachers. We want great teachers That's in our right. schools. That's right. Let's make teaching Two, great again. Drastically <laughs> cut the bloated number of school administrators, including the costly, divisive, and unnecessary diversity, equity, and inclusion bureaucracy. Three, adopt. A yeah, why the hell is that in the school? <laughs> There's already constitutional laws about all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Because it's the it's it's a sneaky way of saying anti-white, right? That that's what it is. I'm sorry, just to say, just telling you. A parental bill of rights that includes Ooh. complete curriculum transparency uh -huh. and Good. a form of universal school choice. Yes, and for school choice. Yes, school choice is amazing. Bay, say you had kids, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we live in the same district. Mm -hmm. Okay, say I had kids, right? Mm -hmm. Guess where we're sending our kids? To that school district. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, our, that school district isn't the best, Bay. It's not that good. <laughs> well, with school choice, you get vouchers, which allows your kid to apply to go to a different school. And boom. Hey, look, I want in on that school. Okay, all uh -huh. right. All right, we have an opening. Boom, your kid's on the list. He's in. Now my kid is at a better school, doesn't have to worry about friggin' the drug deals and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Implement the up, direct Gail? election of school principals by the parents. It's all about the parents for their children. More than anyone else, parents know what their children need. If any principal is not getting the job done, the parents should be able to vote to fire them and select someone who will. This will be the ultimate that's, form of local control. That's, Our country has I do believe that's anybody that's in a, a position. That's right. Babe, if school you board officials get elected. If you can't get the job done, hey, right. you got to go. You got to go. Yeah. That's uh, enough of this union stuff, this, this teacher's union, okay, which, by the way, is so corrupt, okay? <laughs> and if you ever go on their websites, mm -hmm. all right, it's all activism. But the, it's all activism. You get the kids. Right. That's how you change everything. And do you know why, Bay? Because the parents are not teaching them anything before they go to school. Man. <laughs> the traditional, they did the survey. Mm -hmm. Traditional families, okay, where it's a mom, a dad, and the children, right? Mm -hmm. So the, that traditional family, conservative family, if you will, but in this study, they, the survey, they called it a traditional family. 
Uh, they are having children at a rate of three to one to non-traditional liberal families. Okay? Mm -hmm. So to the party that is about not reproducing, or if they do, they're kill the baby, pro-abortion, they are not having children at the rate of traditional families. Mm -hmm. So that means in about a generation and a half, maybe two, the majority, the super majority, about 70 to 75% of this nation would be traditionally raised conservatives. Could you imagine? And that's when they go, no, <laughs> we're Marxist. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, we weren't supposed to say that part out loud. So that's why they get in these positions of media and education where they go, I'm going to raise your children <laughs> and wait till we show you the parade stuff where they're chanting, we're coming for your children. Wake up, people. The Donald is telling you. It's not wake up, get up. Yeah, you're right, babe. It's not wake up. Because we're already awake. Now it's time to get up out of bed. Here we go. Has frankly never had anything like it, or let's say for at least the last 50 years. As the saying goes, personnel is policy. And at the end of the day, if we have pink haired communists teaching our kids, we have a major problem. When I'm president, we will put parents back in charge and give them the final say. We will get back to teaching reading, writing, and math called arithmetic. There you and go. we will give our kids the It's that simple. It's school. That was school supposed to be. That's it, man. <laughs> and Donald, keep this up, man. Don't worry about, uh, and I hear you. I'm very concerned about what happened in the past, and we're working on that. Focus on the future. And, sir, you got this. You got this, and we need you to get this, <laughs> like seriously. So what's up with his course stuff? <laughs> it's do or die time, Bay. It really is for this mm -hmm. nation, okay? We're about to watch some demonic stuff here in a moment, and we need. Now, that's not been going on for years. You ain't kidding, babe, yeah, but yeah. now they're not hiding it anymore. <laughs> they ain't never been hiding. Well, they, they, <laughs> they were pretty crafty with it. Nah. High-quality, <laughs> pro-American <laughs> education they mm. deserve. We spend more per pupil Need better than lighting. any <laughs> nation in the world by double. We're going to keep... Yeah, yeah. we spend more money than any other nation in what, the world. What, what do you mean uh, spend? You mean the... Uh, our tax dollars. The how up, right, did it? Right, <laughs> and, and And guess what? We're still stupid. And that's what they want. They want your kids dumb and compliant. Because they don't want to give your kids tools to take face back. Mm -mm. That's why they're doing what they mm -mm. do. Spending the money, but we're now going to get our money's worth. There we're at the go. end of every list on education, mm -hmm. and yet we spend the most. We're going to change it around. We may spend the most, but we're going to be tops in education, no matter where you go, anywhere in the world. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Donald, well said. Yeah. Well said. And you know what's great about this? After he was done, he didn't say end of quote, like some other people that read teleprompters. <laughs> end of quote. End of quote. <laughs> Sounding like a, a computer. End of line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this, uh, this Jody Stallings, I came across this article. This was a couple weeks ago. I think maybe even uh, a couple months ago now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Teacher to parent, idea of voting for principals raises many questions. It does. And this guy, whose but, name is Jody. But that put the parent more involved in their kid's education? Yes, very much so. You know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely, Bay. So he's talking about he doesn't like getting politics into the school, but then he goes into, you know, one benefit immediately comes to mind. Rather than being loyal to the superintendents and school boards, that typically select these principles, principles would be more responsive to parents. And it is parents, after all, who should have the most say in the process of education. Mr. the truth. <laughs> Jody makes a good point here. It's so true. Holding elections for principals who will stay until they quit doesn't make sense. Who would fire them if they turn out to be incompetent? Also, voting parents 
may only have students at the school a few years. Why should they get to elect the ones at a future principal without later parents having a say? That's why it should be parents mm -hmm. <laughs> currently with school involvement. I should not be voting for a school principal or a school board member. The school parents should. Yeah, I ain't got no kids. Right. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You change that policy, you'll see an immediate difference, mm -hmm. especially with these school board members. And these woke school board members who, who get these positions, here's, here's the reason why these leftists get in these positions and everything. Their health care is unbelievable, mm -hmm. what they get. <laughs> it, is, it is better than mine with the VA. <laughs> Which isn't saying much, but <laughs> but yeah, very interesting. Yeah, go get them, Donald. Stay on track, man. So yes or no, and why should school principals be elected by parents? Bay, you get final say. <laughs> the parents, I say so. That's Bay votes I, yes. That's way I feel. Parents, mm -hmm. you know. There you go. Mention in the comments. Let's see what you guys got. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. The whole bits. Absolutely.